are very, very proud of the contributions that have been made and all of the friends that have come to uh, be a part of tonight's ceremonies and all worthy inductees as they are. It is my esteemed pleasure to introduce to you one of the great characters of the game. This gentleman has done it all in his National Hockey League career as a college coach. I think Pat Quinn alluded to this very, very well. When he started out at the wrong school in the Big Ten, as far as us Michigan fans are concerned. But that didn't matter uh, that he was at Ohio State. He followed Glenn Sonmore uh, to Minnesota in the WHA, uh, first as an assistant coach with the Fighting Saints and developing a uh, very strong relationship with uh, a gentleman that's in this room that I have a lot of regard for, and Dave Keon, and also moving on to the New England Whalers in the WHA, then to the Vancouver Canucks as the coaching general manager, and in true Harry Neal fashion, got himself suspended for 10 games by our good friend, Mr. O'Neill over here, and so Roger Nielsen ended up having the uh, pleasure of getting the Vancouver Canucks to the Stanley Cup Finals back in 1982. Then in uh, 1985, one of the Harryisms that you have come to know, I'd rather be coached for a year than up a year, <laughs> rang true as he went to the Detroit Red Wings, where he uh, ended up a little less than a half a season, but little did we know that uh, this great broadcasting career would be right on the precipice in 1986. And I look out into the audience and I see Bob Cole, and I see Joe Bowen, and I know how they feel about this gentleman because he has been a tremendous communicator, entertainer, and just all around true profession in our broadcasting industry. So it is my esteemed pleasure to present to you the 2013 Foster Hewitt Memorial Award winner, Mr. Henry Newman.